Modifying a section view. Here we have a full building section going through. Uh, we can modify this. We uh, go over to modify and select our, our section. And you'll see here that we get uh, a section line and we can grab the section line here by the uh, drag controls and we can move this around. We don't have to see the whole building. We can see partial building. So we can slide it around to where we want it to go. And we can do that on both ends. Um, we can also flip the direction. So we can flip the section. And when we flip the section, we are now looking from the standing at the top of the drawing, looking downwards. So we're looking in the direction of the pointed head on the bubble. So uh, I can flip uh, the section direction by doing the twin flip arrows. I can control, I can drag in, then the, the uh, cropping window in separately from the section line if I like by grabbing onto these blue drag windows. I don't have to see through the whole part of the building. I could just see through certain walls and now I wouldn't see any parts of the exterior walls right here uh, when I'm looking through it if I was down in the middle. Um, the uh, On the ends here, we have the, the cycle uh, section heads. Uh, these are called technically section heads, not, not bubbles, but now when I f click on that, I flick through so that it's a bar end, okay? And in then this end just has the section head. Um, when I go to over here, I can flip this one, and now this has a bar end. So uh, some people, have none. Some people have the bar end on one end, and some people have the the section or the section head on both ends. Personally, I like the section head on both ends, um, but some people do the section head and the bar end on on one end. Uh, let's see what else. Um, the depth here is controlled. It does a good job of showing the depth. You'll find different changes are shown when you uh, pull that down through and you might want to just experiment with that to see. Also the other things we can change is over here in our properties. We can come over here and one of the things we want to do is our name. Section 1 is a horrible name. So we might want to call this full building section. Okay and I can hit apply and now that's going to show up on our documentation as full building section and then that way people can understand what that is and uh, so we have the name we control the scale quarter inch equals a foot we might want to control that commercial we might be bigger buildings could be an eighth inch equals a foot residential quarter inch equals a foot the crop window visible we come down here, we can say the crop window is v visible, and we could apply that. And now, when we pick on this, we can there we go. Now we can see the visible crop window, and uh, so. I always name your uh, views accordingly to what people who have no idea what this building is. Uh, so I don't want to see a section one or a section two type thing. I always want to have a name for it. You know, uh, living room wall, uh, wall section, full building section, uh, north and south or east and west or something like that. People have to understand what it is they're looking at by the verbal name as well.